Hey, this is Carl and welcome to another episode of World of Custom Statues. So stay tuned. Hey fellow collectors, hope everybody had a good week like me. I'm back with a whole new list of custom statues for you guys. And if you are interested in the pieces or statues mentioned in the video, you can drop me a message on my Facebook account with a screenshot of the piece you are referring to. Please don't just say Wolverine or Spider-Man, I've covered a lot of them ever since I started this weekly episode last 2020. Anyway, link will be in the description below. You could also join the channel's Facebook group to browse more high quality photos and more updated posts in regards to custom statues. I would also encourage you to share your statues or collection to the community or ask around for statues you are looking for. Anything statue related is definitely welcome in the group. So the group link will be in the description below as well. First is we have this block bolt that is ready to ship. You are already looking at the production sample here. Next is we have this dark Captain Marvel that should be shipping soon. A very unique version of Captain Marvel for sure. Really cool cape with lots of intricate details. Don't miss out on this before it's sold out. Very low edition size of just 40 pieces. Next we have this Drax, still a few slots left available for this piece, prototype has already been revealed, it's what you're looking at. No portrait switch out but you have to choose either the open mouth or close mouth portrait. So we have this King Thor that is ready to ship, comes with a lot of portrait switch outs, 5 of them actually. 3 of them are old King Thor and 2 of them are a younger version of Thor. So this statue is also ready to ship like I mentioned, it's produced by one of the best factories around so hit me up if you are interested. We have something uh, different here. We have a barbarian or a savage looking wolverine or Logan, you decide. Anyway, this guy is ready to ship. It comes with a lot of switch out, an extra torso switch out, two sets of legs, that's something new, uh, forehead portraits and a totem or a switch out stand so that you can display the extra switch out that you aren't using. So just hit me up if you are interested. Next pre-order is open for this Mighty Thor or Lady Thor. Comes with three portrait switch outs and two right arm switch out hammers. Also, she's already printed and just waiting for the prototype now.
Next pre-order is open for this Quasar. Will come with uh, light up features. Very, very nice flying pose as you can see. Great anatomy for sure. And this guy is also part of a Annihilator line. This guy is also already printed and just waiting for the prototype. We have a few slots left available too for this blue red Superman. Comes with two portraits. Obviously, this is highly inspired from the Prime 1 Superman Hush. We'll be shipping soon as well, so just hit me up if you are interested. Next is we have this prototype of a Red Goblin, very unique character for sure. This is actually Red Goblin uh, resurrected and has fused with Carnage. Besides it being unique, sculpt and paint is also pretty spot on. Next is we have this prototype of Toxin, one of many symbiotes around. You can definitely see a lot of similarities with Venom. Also comes with a lot of portrait switchouts, even has a portrait stand for all those uh, portraits. So we have this Bane Diorama with Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. Next is we have Grundy and this is already the prototype you're looking at. And lastly on the pack is we have King Shark and this is also its prototype. We have a full reveal and open pre-order for this incredible Hulk. Inspired by the art of Diodato, will come in green and gray versions and both versions will have different portraits. We have a full reveal and open pre-order for this incredible Hulk, inspired by the art of Diodato, will come in green and gray versions and both versions will have different portraits. Next, the full reveal for the renders of this Captain Marvel is here. Probably the best Captain Marvel around. One of her portraits actually kinda looks like Taylor Swift. What do you guys think? Anyway, also comes with a Kree variant. And instead of the Mjolnir, she is carrying Ronan's weapon. This Mr. Fantastic just got printed and it looks fantastic. See what I did there? Anyway, slot still available for this one, so just hit me up if you are interested.
with every Mr. Fantastic statue is a Susan Storm that comes with it. Print for the Invisible Girl will be coming soon as well, but for now, just enjoy the renders. And yes, both Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Girl are coming from the same studio. Next, we have a full reveal for this MJ and Felicia statue. MJ will be the one on the blue red Spider Man costume, whereas Felicia is the one wearing the black Spider Man costume. This Dr. Octopus just got printed, very very low edition size on this one and it comes with two torso uh, switch outs and some head switch outs of course. Just hit me up if you are interested. Next pre-order is open for this Kane Parker Scarlet Spider-Man. This is coming from my favorite Spider-Man group, so I'm expecting this to be amazing. Next, this Spider Woman just got printed and also assembled. Gonna be just a matter of time before we see the prototype. Slot still available for this one if you are interested. Next pre-order is open for this Emma Frost. She's produced by the same studio as that Domino. Also comes with a black version, so expect some pretty good quality here. Next, I'm selling pre-order for this Jean Grey and Dark Phoenix version. Again, comes from the same studio as Domino and Emma Frost. Very small base, so it's going to be pretty easy to display. Next, I'm selling pre-order for this Magic. Yeah, it's the same studio as the ones before her, so Sculpt is very consistent as you can see.
Next pre-order is open for this Del Otto inspired Spider-Man. Comes with two portraits and a spotlight. Yes, you heard that right. A spotlight which actually lights up. This is straight out inspired from one of Del Otto's art actually. Next, we have some updated renders for this Incredible Hulk. It now has a more realistic type of green skin tone compared to last week's episode's uh, render of this same Hulk. They also added a Marvel-related switch out for the Superman uh, cape on his right hand, which is now Wolverine's cowl. Next is we have a prototype reveal for this She-Hulk. Always loved this uh, She-Hulk ever since the render was revealed. And now that it's painted, it's even more epic. Next we have some prototype photos of this Death of Superman diorama. There's still a few slots left available if you are interested. Next, we have more photos of the prototype of this Doomsday. Easily the best Doomsday around, licensed or custom, as long as it's quarter scale of course. Still got a few slots left available, so just hit me up if interested. The prototype reveal of this Emma Frost has finally been revealed. She's obviously very sexy here and you will definitely go well next to your Beast Gambit or Beast on Throne since uh, this statue and the Beast are produced by the same studio. Also, the portraits on Emma looked uh, amazing. Obviously, there's still a seam that needs to be fixed and that will be addressed uh, during production. Anyway, the three Portraits kind of looks like you have three different versions of Emma Frost. We have a full reveal for the prototype of this Shogun Phoenix or maybe Shogun Jean Grey. Comes in two versions to choose from but uh, both versions will have the exact same number of portraits so there's no difference. It's just whether you like white or red. Next, we have some more colored renders for this Alex Ross Superman. We'll come in two scales to choose from, which is the quarter scale and of course the one third scale. Gonna be a great addition for one third collectors and you'd never see another Alex Ross inspired Superman in one third scale ever again.
Next pre-order is open for this very beautiful Supergirl and it's actually sculpted by my favorite female sculptor. Uh, he, he is not a female uh, sculptor but all the female sculpts that he does looks pretty amazing and very beautiful of course. Uh, this Supergirl will come in two scales, uh, one third and of course quarter scale. Next pre-order is open for this Jim Lee Superman. He will come in both scales of one third and one fourth scale. So there's a lot of room for everybody for the Superman. He will also come with a heat vision portrait but the renders isn't available yet for that. Next, there's a few slots left available for this Magneto. This is sculpted by the great Angad Singh, comes with 6 portraits and a torso switch out, and a very limited edition size of just 30 pieces. This Magneto is also ready to ship. Next is we have something different and we have this Venomized Squirtle. Always love Pokemons. <laughs> this one is really cute even if it's uh, Venomized. Not really sure if this is part of a line but I'm guessing that it is. Next, we have a full reveal and open pre-order for this Galactus on Throne. It's been a while already since the last Galactus on Throne. Hopefully, this will be a great replacement. The prototype of this Thanos on Throne just got printed and wow, this turned out amazing. Way, way better than I expected. Big congratulations to everybody who was able to pre-order this one. Next is we have a full reveal and open pre-order for this very unique and fun looking Spider-Man. I think this is based from the Spider-Verse, I'm not sure. Anyway, this Spider-Man will have a regular version and an exclusive version. Obviously, the exclusive version will have a lot more switch outs, uh, more portraits, and the backpack. Definitely love this Spider-Man, it's very unique and like I said, it looks very fun. Next, we have this look cage available. One of the portraits is actually sculpted by Eric Sosa. So that's it for this week's episode. Hope you guys found something you like. And if you do, you can send me a message on my Facebook account with a screenshot of the piece you are interested in. Link in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you again next week. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this.